What's up everyone? So unfortunately, look at that skyline. Wow. Unfortunately, uh, thinking about selling Fireblade to the dismay of, I'm sure, a bunch of you. Um, you may ask, why are you selling a perfectly good CBR 1000RR Fireblade in the blue and yellow? Hard to find. Well, with my new bike that I'm going to reveal next week, I don't know if I have a use for uh, as many motorcycles as I have. And uh, I don't think my wife's ready to ride a 1000. And this is an actual hard 1000 to ride. I'm um, thinking about selling it and getting a 600. And you also might ask, why get a 600? Well, a couple reasons. One, she's uh, not so much a 1000cc rider. She has a Harley 883. Uh, she started on a uh, CBR 250 R uh, and uh, same one I started on actually. And uh, the thing is, you don't really need a 1000 in Hawaii. The problem is there's nowhere to ride, um, per se. I mean, there's the interstate, but you, you can't really get any speed on it because I think the max speed limit is 55 and maybe some places 65. And the cops are everywhere, especially motorcycle cops. And they drive BMWs, um, the big old sport bike one, but they're not S1000s. They're like the 1200S or something, but all souped up and all kinds of body and and all kinds of fairings and all kinds of stuff on them. Anyway, side the point. So a 600 makes more sense in Hawaii because it saves gas. You really can't open it up. There is no racetracks here. And uh, I just don't think my wife wants to handle this 1000. Uh, it's rough as it is. You know, it doesn't have the rider aids, etc. I mean, neither does her 883, but 883 is not as powerful as this. Uh, I just think it would be more enjoyable um, this is bigger, heavier. Um, I just think the, the 600, you know, suits her better. Go Chris! Woo! <laughs> I don't have a clue who Chris is for Senate, but go Chris. Anyway. <laughs> so, let me know what your thoughts are. Should I uh, sell the Fireblade and get a 600? Or keep the Fireblade and have her learn how to ride it? I mean, the only reason... I don't want her to ride it as well. It's not so much I don't want her to ride it. It's just this thing has no rider aids as I mentioned earlier and uh, It's heavy and it's wide and uh, I just think she'd enjoy a 600 better I mean, we know plenty of people in this world own 600s and never own a liter bike. So uh, I Think I can get a decent uh, penny for this uh, I got a great deal when I bought it and I think I can actually uh, at least break even if not more i did put as i mentioned in an earlier video about twelve hundred dollars in upgrades uh ref you know i wouldn't say upgrades i'd say just getting it overall made brand new again in a sense all the fluids were changed everything the chain tightened uh you name it full inspection uh it was done so you know i'd have to make a minimum you know, I'm looking for around five to six grand, maybe more. I'm not sure. Always more is a better thing, right? So, uh, but anyway, I can turn that into a decent, nice, newer uh, 600. You know, I'm looking at CBR 600, double R's. Um, I think that's a good size, a good fit for her. It's plenty fast for Hawaii. And really, all I need, a 600 is all you need. So. I'm sure this will go to someone here, and it's a badass motorcycle. Um, it's loud, almost too loud. After riding my new bike, uh, makes me uh, <laughs> re-examine. Hey, am I losing my hearing? Maybe I should wear earplugs. I've tried wearing earplugs, but they just get super uncomfortable. I'm still looking into it. And I know I should, and I will. Um, highly recommend you wear earplugs if you don't between the wind noise and the loudness of engines, etc. But yeah, um, this might be one of the last rides, if not the last ride, on this Fireblade. Uh, as sad as that is to think, uh, you know, this is what I, the first big bike I really learned on, at least sport bike wise. Um, actually, I learned on my Harley Softail Slim. And uh, it actually might, you know, it's like selling your first, uh, your first dog or something. It's like, this is my bike. This was what I was working on and 
you know, got it all, spent all the money on it. And this is the 1000. You're never going to get another bike. Yeah. You know, yeah. We see how that works. But, uh, yeah, this might be one of the last, the last rides. Um, if you're looking to buy it, just hit me up anyway. <laughs> but even though this might be one of the last rides, I'll tell you what, the new bike, it spoils you. Um, this one is like raw power. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. You gotta manage it, throttle control. I hate this intersection. The merge. But once you learn to throttle control, it's manageable. So, I'm thinking about, you know, like I said earlier, this might be one of the last rides. I'm thinking about selling the Fireblade. Uh, I don't see the point in keeping the Fireblade and my new bike, plus my Harley and my wife's Harley. Insurance does get kind of expensive. Granted, I am older, so it helps out financially that way. But yeah, having uh, four motorcycles, at least two 1000s, isn't much practical. So, especially if my wife's not going to ride it that much. So if I get her a 600, I think uh, we'll ride a lot more. She'll enjoy it more. Um, it's more her size. I would actually ride a 600 like everyone. There's a lot of people that have ride 600s. Um, so this might be one of the last rides of the uh, Wolverine, as I call it, the uh, blue and yellow 2006 CBR 1000 RR Fireblade. Um, so we'll see. Uh, it's Friday. Might ride it one, one or two more times this weekend. Once I have the paperwork finalized for Mother Bike, which should be very, very soon, um, I'll do the unveil next week, and um, I may post this up. It might be one of the last rides. Uh, so, go out, literally in a Hawaiian sunset, and uh, we'll see what happens. Other than that, everyone take care, and I'll talk to you all later. Oh, he's fine.